He was the king of rock and roll. She was his only princess. And this was the day Elvis introduced little Lisa Marie to the world. Born February 1st, 1968, exactly nine months to the day after Elvis and Priscilla were married. She was daddy's little girl and the angel of Elvis's eye. We all watched the King's one and only grow up Graceland. It was her personal playground and the place she always called home. I have a really strong sense of home here. I, I feel really, I'm always really happy when I come here. It's basically a time capsule, it's nice. The thing that, that struck me the most when I walked in was seeing my golf cart key. And it's just completely worn out. And I haven't seen it in probably 30 years. So to see it, and it's just, it was like sort of the key to my freedom, my demons and my, <laughs> and my friends and my, uh, you know, having fun when I was here. I love you. Most of all, because of you. These home movies, now so poignant, set to her dad's 1956 ballad, I Love You Because. I love you. Sadly, Elvis and Priscilla divorced when Lisa Marie was just four years old, and Elvis died when she was only nine. But his love for music still lived on in Lisa Marie, and she became a successful singer, too. That was the first single off her final album, 2012's Storm and Grace, and Extra was with her when it was first released. Do you ever think about comparisons to your father? I try not to, but mm -hmm. you know, of course, it's there. Yeah. And you know, it's fine with me. What do you think he would think of his little girl coming into her own personally, musically? Um, I think that he would probably understand everything that led to here and also here and probably hopefully be proud. And Lisa Marie invited us to Memphis. She took us inside the iconic Sun Studio, the place where her father began his legendary singing career. When I walked in this building, it was a bit intimidating because I looked around the walls and I was like, my God. It's only blocks away from where Lisa Marie grew up at Graceland. She could almost hear the echoes of her famous father. I wasn't trying in any way to sound like um, him specifically. It's just in my genetic code <laughs> that he's going to, you know, definitely be influencing me and how I hear and think musically. I'm really proud of this record. It's from my heart. What do you think your dad would think of this album? I could only hope that he would be proud. Lisa Marie actually did a virtual duet with her father in this 2012 music video. But most of all I love you cause you're you. Lisa Marie, the little girl who America adopted and loved like her famous dad, gone too soon.